This is the beginning of a video series where I'll build a multiplayer matchmaking algorithm. If you played competitive multiplayer games, you probably uh, question the quality of those matchmaker algorithms and maybe even blamed the developers for always putting you in the losing team. I hope to shed some light on these algorithms and help you implement one for yourself. For this tutorial, I'm going to focus on building a one versus one um, matchmaker. Very basic, and the idea is just to develop the platform where we're going to analyze the algorithm we're implementing. So I'm going to use Python and Jupyter Notebooks, and uh, I'm going to start by creating uh, my notebook using this uh, matchmaker kernel that I installed in a Python environment. So let's start by creating a player representation. So this player is going to be waiting to join a match and uh, we'll have two fields, a timestamp representing the time where he started uh, queuing and the player unique ID that will be just a random unique identifier. For the identifier, we're gonna use uh, UUID4 uh, with a hexadecimal representation. And for the timestamp, I'll just use Python date time structure. So this is how a player entry would look like. Okay, so now we want to have a function that will produce random entries within a certain time interval. So we need to have import the random function from the module random. Our function will take start time and end time as uh, arguments. And we're going to create a random number of seconds that's within that interval. And then we also create a random player ID. And we return that entry. Very simple and basic. So let's try to create the entry ourselves. And uh, yeah, so this is how it looks like. We create uh, the entry that's within the now and uh, one hour from now and there it is so now we're ready to create a list a queue of players we're gonna create 1000 of them and we're gonna insert them in a priority queue the priority queue is gonna help us sorting the entries on by the uh, timestamp of the player. And now we're ready to implement our matchmaker logic. For the time being, we only have a timestamp and a random ID, so we cannot do many, uh, we cannot do much with it. So I'll just take two players of the queue in uh, order of arrival and put them, insert them into the matched list. I just check if there's at least two elements in the queue before I try to extract them, otherwise I'll exit. Okay, so now we should have uh, 1000 players queued and we can try to extract some statistics out of it. Let's say we want to measure how much time the players were waiting to play. Here what I do is just take the difference between the timestamp of the second player and the first player. This will give us an approximation of the time the first player had to wait until the second player joined. 
we can see the maximum value and it's 18 seconds the longest waiting time all right so let's now make a more in-depth analysis let's try to plot the instagram of all the waiting times i'm going to use matplotlib so you need to install matplotlib in your environment you can do that by just running pip install matplotlib just remember to be inside of your virtual env when you do it and let's see what the histogram tells us all right we can see here that the majority of our users have to wait less than seven seconds and then few of them had to wait longer up to 17. that's all for now hope you learned something today and see you around